Hello you guys, Jimmy here and welcome back to my art life. So for today's episode, I'm gonna show you my art material collection. So I'm gonna have a tour uh, on that and I'll show you my colored pencil collection and we're gonna go through them one by one. I'm also gonna tell you about which are the ones I least like and also my top three best colored pencils. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, alright, so I think these are all of it, and I don't know which or where to start, but um, I'm gonna start off, um, just gonna choose anything here, I'm gonna start with the Marco Raffine uh, color pencils, these are actually metallic color pencils, as you can see here, and I have the 12 color sets. There you go. And I also have a Prang color pencil set um, in 12 colors. Now these are really, really old. I got these from uh, a bargain sale. And it still works, um, even though it's really old. I, and I think they don't have this packaging anymore. Uh, this packaging has been discontinued, but I know that Prang still makes colored pencils, but you won't see it in this packaging anymore. Next would be the Koinur um, colored pencils, and these are actually Aquarel colored pencils, also in the 12 color sets. And I love these. Uh, these are very pigmented, and, and the colors are very vibrant. Uh, they're easy to use because the cores are very soft so that's one of the things that i like uh, when using color pencils it's easier to blend and the color payoff is great so it's a little bit in the uh, pricey end but uh, it's all worth it next that we have here um, are these deli color pencils so i have a different set here uh, the first one I got uh, is this 12 color sets because I want to try it out if it's good or not. But since I have proven that these are really good for a, a very affordable price, so I got myself the uh, 36 color sets because it's it's worth it really. I promise you, you won't uh, be sorry if you get a Deli color pencil. Uh, since Deli color pencils are good, so. Uh, I opted to get also their uh, watercolor pencil set. Uh, this is in 24 colors and it's really great. Again, soft cores. So I love using colored pencils with soft cores. So again, it's easy to use and very easy to blend. Next one I have here is a Stedler Luna. And I have the one in 24 colors. And all I have to do is push down here and it pops right up. It also comes um, with its own sharpener. With Stedler, this is uh, the first color pencil that I got uh, when I was around uh, seven years old, and it got me started with art. So uh, it has a really long history with me. Next is this Equio, um, or Equio. <laughs> Not sure if I'm saying that correctly. I think it's Equio Show, or Equio Show. And this one also has a slider there. I got the one in 48 colors. This set is very cheap. That's why I bought it. And for 48 colors and less than uh, $4, I think, this is quite a bargain. Although it's not as good as your normal watercolor pencil, but um, this would work for you know casual drawing and if you're still practicing uh, this would work really well so again this is not just color pencil it's a water soluble or watercolor pencil next are these atlas colored pencils and um, these are also good with soft cores and good color payoff the reason i got two of these is because this one has 12 colors and there they are 
And this other set is 12 pencils, but 24 colors. And let me show you. Because each pencil has two ends and each end is a different color. So I think that's really nifty. Next one in the lineup uh, would be this Stabilo um, Aqua Color. And these are also really good. Um, I already had a review out um, of these color pencil sets. And I got the, the one in, in 24 colors. Uh, you should watch uh, my review of this Stabilo Aqua Color. Um, if you're interested to get one, I mean, it's, it's affordable. And these are really good pencils. I also have here the Mapid or Mate Aqua Colors. So as you can see here, this is a 24 color set and it's another um, watercolor pencil. So I, I also like using um, not just color pencils, but also um, watercolor pencils. I think it gives off um, a, a very interesting effect um, on your artwork. And I also have here the uh, Pantel uh, color pencil. So these are just regular color pencils and also 24 colors. I think this is the largest set that they have. I'm not sure, but um, this is the one I got. And this, is, this was the only one available at the time that I purchased it. Now, next in the lineup uh, would be these um, Faber-Castell color pencils and watercolor pencil. So this is the Faber-Castell 24 classic color pencils, and it comes with its own uh, sharpener. And here is the whole set right there. So it's just kind of hard to get to these ones at the back because it doesn't really pop up. So you really have to dig in there. But that's okay. Faber Castle pencils are good and affordable. Now, um, this 12 color set is also just regular color pencil, but it has a different packaging because I got these from a different country. So they do um, have a different packaging than the usual ones that you will see in the store, which is the Knight. And these are my Faber-Castell um, watercolor pencil. So um, you might be asking, why do I have two of them? Well, aside from this being 12 colors and this one is 24 colors, again, I usually buy a smaller set to try it out. And if I like it, then I get the one uh, that has a larger set. Now, next is this Joy um, Professional Color Pencils. And it even includes a gold and a silver pencil. Now, this set is 48 colors, so it may be a large set of 48 colors, but actually, this is less than four dollars so it's really worth the money and those are all of the colors there and it's actually good in spite of the cheap price and i like it so much that i bought another set here because <laughs> i'll be using this a lot okay let's also uh, check out the ones here at the back i just like to give special mention to crayola and i really like their products so i have here um, Crayola twistable pencil. So this is um, a little bit different than your usual pencil because it, it, it's it has uh, a plastic casing and then you just twist here on the other end and the lead pops up right there. This one has 24 colors and again it doesn't pop up so you'll have to really dig in there and I've already uh, reviewed this and as you can see here I, I've included the swatches inside so that I'll always have a reference whenever I use this. Here are the actual um, Crayola color pencils that has a, uh, a wooden casing and again 12 colors because I want to try it out it's good and I also purchased um, their watercolor pencil sets also in 12 colors now uh, you would know like i mentioned uh, that i like the product if i would get a larger set than these and actually i got here the crayola 100 color set 
and it's so enjoyable to use because of the wide range of colors and um, you, you don't have to do a lot of mixing and blending colors because it has all of the colors that you're gonna need. And I actually think it's more than enough. Since this, this has a lot of colors, it's hard for me to dig in uh, through the packaging um, all the time. So I've already emptied it out and I opted to put it in this container where it will be easier for me to pick up the colors that I need. Right there. So now let's get to the larger set um, of color pencils that I have. And let's start with the Colleen uh, color pencils. And Colleen is a Japanese brand. If you'll notice, I already have the 72 color sets and I didn't opt to buy the smaller set first. Well, this is because I already knew that uh, Colleen is of good quality and it's very easy to use. So um, I've been using Colleen um, ever since I started um, attending art school. So from there, I already know that these are good color pencils. It has two drawers right here, and all I have to do is to push down at the bottom, and that brings it right up. Right now, it has two sets. The set at the back has um, all of the common colors right there and as you can see it has a wide range of colors and then the sets at the front includes um, special colors like these neon colors and then we have the metallic colors right here next one is the brut funner or brute funer um, oily pencils <laughs> I don't know why they call that oily pencils but maybe I guess it's because uh, it's oil based and this is also a large set of 72 colors and I love the packaging and uh, these are really affordable color pencils and they're good as well so you just slide it out like that and it does have this cool um, plastic casing it has all of the pencils in there and for the drawers um, it also is made out of plastic and it holds all of the pencils there uh, as you can see here it does have the metallics although I'm not seeing any um, neon colors but I guess um, it's not needed for these sets but 72 colors is a lot and you can do a lot with these pencils so again, um, with front funner, um, these are soft core um, color pencils, so it's going to be easy to use and blend as well. And I love uh, when a color pencil blends seamlessly, like as if it was airbrushed. That for me is a perfect color pencil. Now let's get to um, the last set here, and I'm sure you're very much familiar with this. Uh, this is the Prismacolor uh, Premier Color Pencils. So um, I'm not sure if this still needs a lot of introduction and all that. Uh, I'm sure that you have watched a lot of videos about this pencil and they are the bomb. So these are all of the pencils and it has two trays here. Okay. And Prismacolor also included a gold and a silver pencil right there and what I love about the packaging is that it has a space right there at the top where I can put an extra pencil so this is not included in the set this is a Prismacolor um, colorless blender so you can put it right there and that completes the whole set As for the color pencils that I least like, um, let me see here. So which one doesn't work as well? Well, I have a few that I seldom use because they are very much like your regular color pencils. You know, the kind of color pencils that are really cheap and doesn't blend and the cores are hard. So it's hard to get a color payoff. So if I were to choose which ones I least like, 
I'm gonna start off with the Pento color pencils. Like I mentioned earlier, these are the type of pencils that are hard to use and you don't get too much color payoff. And they're more like regular um, color pencils that uh, preschool kids would use. You know, like really cheap color pencils. So as much as I don't want to say it, but I don't recommend you to get this set. Another color pencil set that I least like would be the Marco Raffine metallic color pencils. Uh, these um, color pencil set is just 12 colors, but it's a little bit expensive um, for the price point. Especially, it only has 12 colors, and the color payoff isn't that good. I was expecting a lot um, because it says it's metallic, but um, it looks more like just burnished color pencil. So it it's not going to give you that actual shiny metallic color. It, it would look like just regular pencils with really shiny burnishing. Alright, so next for the least color pencils that I would recommend. I know this would surprise you, but that would be the Stedler Luna. I mean, it really breaks my heart that Stedler has really downsized in terms of the quality of their pencils because uh, like I mentioned this was the very first color pencil set that I have when I was around seven years old and that got me started into art and I really loved the quality and then they decided to downsize it and now it it's, feels more like just regular color pencil it doesn't have that soft uh, creamy blendable leads anymore. So again, um, I wouldn't recommend this set. I really feel bad for saying that, but um, it really breaks my heart that it, it's not the same Stedler color pencil that I had before. Now for my absolute awesome color pencils that I recommend for you to get. So um, I'm going to start off with the obvious. <laughs> That's going to be the Prismacolor pencils and I do know that you have seen a lot of reviews and a lot of videos about Prismacolor pencils and I do love it. I use it all the time. Uh, I've even um, purchased some of the colors individually because uh, I've already ran out of um, some of the colors. So I've used it up. So I would also recommend for you to buy uh, some of the colors individually, especially the ones that you use frequently. Next would be, um, I think it's also pretty much obvious from what I mentioned earlier, that Colleen color pencils are the absolute perfect color pencils. Whether you are a beginner or in the advanced stage of your art, this would be perfect. Now the third one uh, would be uh, Faber-Castell color pencils. So whether it's color pencils or watercolor pencils, these are really good and I think Faber-Castell is the cheapest one um, of all my um, picks for the top three and um, if you're gonna watch other videos you'll see pros using these so these are really good so I highly recommend you to get these ones as well now I do have an honorable mention and that's gonna be the Joy Professional color pencil because at the price points of uh, around four dollars or less than five dollars. Um, this would actually give you awesome color payoff. Uh, the cores are really soft and it blends really well. Like I said earlier, I like color pencils that has airbrush effect and these can do it perfectly. So I recommend you um, get this one as well. And although it doesn't say anywhere in the packaging, but um, Joy Professional Color Pencils are actually water soluble, so you can also use it as a watercolor pencil. Another honorable mention would be the Brut Funer or Brut Funer or Brut Funer <laughs> color pencils. Uh, these are also good, and kudos to the packaging. I like it. I like it so much. It's so different from the other color pencil sets. These color pencils are. Um, the ones I would normally pick up whenever I want to practice or do some casual drawing. These are really good. So those are my top three 
and honorable mentions for best color pencils there is. And that's it for today's video and if you have any questions with any of these color pencils, please do let me know, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer your questions. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.